Welcome back. It's Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. And we have good news uh, coming your way. Uh, your darling, sports loving, award winning Channels Television. That's another one. Again, in the bag, Channels Television has been named the television station of the year for a record 12th time. Yeah, yeah. Let's start it. counting so that you won't get tired. <laughs> you get really tired, you will count from 1 to 12. <laughs> and that's what they talk about mercy, our broadcast mercy. excellence, talk yeah. about professionalism. Yeah. And for us, we just want to continue to up the game, raise the bar, and of course, ensure that uh, he mentioned one word, Bryce Shiaki, me yeah. international best practices. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what and, we're doing. And then, I mean, each time I, I walk into the studio here, really, it's all first class. Mm. Entire commitment, you know, in terms of facility, in terms of the attitude and, you know, professional conduct. You could tell that uh, channels definitely not just have the best of staff, you mm. know, what you know, the management have done a great deal in terms of ensuring that. You know, from time to time, there's constant improvement. That's you know, right. that's the key. There's always growth. And in that way, there's no... I mean, I don't have any doubt in my mind that channels will go do, do up to so 20 we'll get plus. So we'll get to 20. 20 plus easily. 20, 30, easily. 30, with, with the structure in place and the mindset. That's very, the objective. Very, very, yeah. That's the objective. Yeah. So that's it. Channels <laughs> Television has been named the TV station of the year. And we love it right here. I just want to celebrate it with all our viewers are from... Anywhere you are in the world watching channels, television, or you've been supporting the brand, uh, we appreciate you right back. Let's go to social media and find out what you guys are talking about. Chio Dose AB, good to hear from you. Uh, Chio Dose says the happenings in the MBBF uh, is similar to what happened in our football in the past. Luckily, MBBF is not as mean. You meant FIBA is not as mean as FIFA, yeah. or it would have been a different story by you now. Know, Austin, they are being very, very careful. Nigeria is the best <laughs> basketball playing nation mm. in Africa. And that is massive. So they don't want to come down hard. If it were other lesser countries, they would have done just that. So mm. what they are just trying to do is just continue to give us an opportunity to resolve this issue, expecting our administrators to be adults and do the right thing. Mm. You know, if they don't, they would have no choice. But at the moment, they are just making sure that the grace is extended. I'm sure even when after this February, I really don't see the, the, the individuals involved budging they would come down in such a way that would seek to correct and not to destroy. Because they know that Nigerian basketball is massive and it is the players that will suffer and mm. not the administrators. So they, they would definitely, I see them trying to reach a form of compromise and not coming down how they would have you know, to okay, other let, lesser let, countries. Let, let's see what's going to happen because from... Um, yeah, February the 28th to July, uh, to they, March they the 10th. They, they had a longer time and nothing yeah, I, I happened. Know, but it's so okay. It's so, a second chance. Yeah. You blow it and you, everyone knows that it's your fault. So FIBA says uh, February yeah. the 28th, Joseph, and uh, their fact-finding yeah. uh, mission will commence um, March mm -hmm. the 10th. Yeah. So hopefully then everything would have been resolved. I, 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 I just hope that more bodies will come in because obviously the NOC have tried sports ministry has taken sides, so, so you cannot regard them as an unbiased umpire in this matter. Maybe the, 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 uh, the committee on sports at the National Assembly should come in at some point and let's find a solution to it. Well, you, Others who have been there, But the sports ministry... Yeah. It's, it's They've the, taken sides. No, 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 it's the, the ministry in charge. No. And, and they, they provided the guidelines for the elections. Yeah. And, uh, and FIBA made it clear, FIBA made it clear that both elections did not comply with the guidelines. Clearly stated. But that's what the NOC has been trying to do under the guidance of the Ministry for Youth and Sports. But both parties didn't, didn't come to an agreement. The meeting ended in a deadlock. So what, what, you know, what's no, to Austin, be done? You, you know, the, the, let's the, leave the <laughs> discussion. Let's leave the discussion because it's getting, it's getting, uh, yeah, it be let's see. Let's see. let's see if this annoying. time they're going to do the right thing, yeah. but no FIBA didn't say, oh, because of what happened, this person is now in charge. Yeah, so then yeah, you ask for extension of time and they've given you extension. That's what the letter says and that is as clear as that. Uh, Femi Julius on social media says, Seriously, basketball needs total overhaul. How can some people uh, be greater than the federation? Are, there people, uh, are these people really serious about the development of the sports in Nigeria? You see, Femi is worried, but Femi has some good news. And then went on to say, congratulations, uh, Channels Television, on your 12th award. You see, so I will put smiles on the faces of, of, of Nigerian food, uh, sports followers because Femi cannot understand uh, what's really going on. Chidose AB says channels are winners for the 12th time. When you live by professionalism and excellence, then glory comes naturally. Thank you, Chidose. I love that. So let's keep those messages coming on Twitter, channels underscore sports, our Facebook channels, I think sports. Um, 
Arch Pinson. That's your name on, on Twitter. Says, does it mean that the NFF does not have a quality committee that knows about FIFA rules and regulations? What are they paid for? Make common mistakes or mistakes. These are gaps. Yeah, yeah they've made it clear that yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very something mm. that is is, is is unusual and they sad and they are, they really they are really bent on ensuring that it does not repeat itself. And that's why they are always starting and ending with "we're sorry." <laughs> and that, exactly. and that's the attitude. And that is very on Nigeria. Yeah, no that's, that's the attitude. Our officials mm. don't do this. Mm. We don't. We don't. I mean, there's, a, there's an issue, and somebody is involved. You call them, and you call, and you're a public person. You, understand? you are having a public office, and you can't talk to the you media. Can't to you them. can't come out you and say your side of the story. I'm sorry, it's, Austin, I've not heard that. It's strange. It's, it, you know, I've, this FA, I, I try know. to understand this thing, and that's why before and after the elections, we kept on saying it. You need to be open. You need to tell people about the, the programs of your federation. Just, you need to. You can't just say you don't want to talk to the media. It's a public office you're holding, and you're, it's, you're it's, expected to be accountable. Austin, Austin is an attitude problem, and uh, it's something that they've somehow, they've somehow gotten away with. That is why they, it keeps repeating itself. You know, people don't feel that uh, they owe you an explanation. You know, what, did, what really annoys me the most is the lies that they tell, thinking that you will not somehow decipher that this is an underhand method. This is just a way of going around the issue without really jabbing at it directly. So really, I, I must commend the FA's, you know, openness on this matter mm. and apologies. It's very, very strange. Yeah. You know, we don't, officials don't usually do, do this. And I just hope that so many of us, well, our political leaders will take a cue. And for the fact that you are sorry, it doesn't make you, it doesn't minimize you by any means. I mean, just if you say, you're, if you say you're a leader... And you turn back, no one is following. The, 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 the issue is that they, they are they leaders, they are rulers. So, it's so almost as if they are holding people so hostage. Sometimes if you, so if they are not setting examples that we can look at and really follow. That's why a lot of times you, you notice when there are issues in sports in Nigeria, people don't really understand it because the persons involved are not open. They don't feel they, they owe you. Talk. They, are not, they are not accountable. But it's a you public understand? office. I still don't understand it. Attitude, Each time I see... The attitude of public officials have to change. It's, it's not, it hasn't. It hasn't. And I just love the fact that if, uh, the NFF they are doing this so that they can at least you know, let it known that they are, they, are, they are normal people around. That's right. It's okay. You so understand? I will continue to monitor what's going on with that one. Uh, remember, March the 17th of the English Premier League. Games are going on as we speak. Uh, let's see. We have some live updates uh, coming. Uh, I know Everton is taking on Newcastle. And Everton, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a resurgence on the Samala that is never has it been relegated with yeah, the team. Yeah, so yeah, let's, the history of, uh, let's see. Let's see what he can do. Uh, they are joining a 1 0 lead. Man, at City, St. James's City. Park. What can we, can we about Man City? <laughs> Southampton Austin. losing at home <laughs> right there at St. Mary's to Leicester City. Leicester City, they're enjoying some good form. Yeah, uh, let it be known that Nigerian midfielder Wilfred Ndidi um, is playing a major role in that yeah, one. Is. Swansea is losing at home to Man City. We know Man City they're on fire. Yeah, on fire. Uh, we're just saying only God knows what they're going to do to <laughs> FC Basel the in the UEFA Champions they're, League. They're, they are making the league look like a sprint, <laughs> not a marathon. <laughs> Oh you know, it's like the way you say both just, you know, his pass his opponent without, you know, any pressure at all. And it's, it, their record is just unbelievable. Awesome. 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 So, the game again, um, Tottenham and Brighton still goalless. West Ham and, Has and Arsenal also uh, goalless. Yeah. So, we'll continue to monitor what's going on right there in the English Premier League. Games are still ongoing and it's live. And as we get those updates, we're going to tell you right here on the program. It's the Fun Factory. Let's get on with our discussions and some games that have been conquered. Let's talk about the MPFL invitation. Now, Joseph, that one is showing us that uh, we can have some competition in the league this season. Uh, on day one all of the teams played 1-1 one, one draw mm -hmm. and then um results coming from today march day two of the mpf invitational interesting entertaining games mm -hmm. but see the results there is a goal i was just reading some reports about it and i realized that uh, the game was really entertaining look at the quality of play but no goals and uh, these things happen i, I guess that uh, the, the teams are weighing up their strength for the new season i love the fact that chan eagles are involved in this you know there is nothing that preps them up better for the February, you know, uh, Chan tournament than the tournament of this nature. Mm. And for the other teams as well, I mean, Plessy United, they, they got to know their opponent today in the Champions League, Aqua United as well. They couldn't have asked for a better opportunity to prepare them for the season. Obviously, it's tough. It involves the best teams in the land. And uh, 
they are really weighing up their strength and it's not been easy. You don't expect wallops because they belong to the best. So you don't expect a 4 5 nil, you know, results. And uh, it's been all draw, all true. Mm. And uh, we expect to see more exciting football. That's ahead. right. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the home base, Eagles. Okay, let's just run through uh, the fixtures uh, for the upcoming matches. Uh, Canopilas will take on. MFM. MFM, while the Chan Eagles, I was about coming to them, so we can talk about it. We'll take on uh, Aimba. The Chan Eagles, they took on Play 2 United, league winners. Yeah, uh, it's one. ended uh, goalless. Okay, goalless. Uh, okay. But um, the home base Eagles and expectations, 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 and we know why, because they're going to Morocco yeah. for uh, next year's Chan. Uh, what's your take about the team and the composition? It's, I just love the fact that uh, Sikiro Alatubosu is back in the fold. And, mm. uh, you know, he's one player that I felt should have been part of the Wafu team. And now that he's part of the team, and thank God, he's actually still a home base player. You know, he, he's been courted by so many clubs outside that he's back. He's one player that uh, obviously would, you know, create more value and create more option for Sali, Coach Salisu Yusuf. I just love the fact that uh, they are getting involved in this kind of tournaments. It, it helps them. Already they have an idea of the pattern to, to play. They've yeah. had, you know, the, the way the Wafu tournament prep them up. They, you know, they, 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 they know their strength now as it is. And having tournaments like this just a few months to a major tournament would help, you know, to help them fashion out, you know, the, 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 the technique, their tech technique that they will use for, for the tournament in Morocco. I just wish them well. That's right. Uh, Rabiu Ali uh, wasted two free kicks from the edge mm -hmm. of the area in the 52nd and 54th minute. Yeah. Salisu Yusuf, that's the coach of the Chan Eagles, uh, introduced Anthony Opotu and Dio Ojo for Peter Inege and Sikri Olatubosu in the 58th minute. Uh, Tosio Morele and Abuba Karma also wasted uh, good chances for Play 2 United late on. And yesterday we were talking, uh, major worry for Salisu Yusuf and his team is come January, a lot of players will be moving. Uh, but this is a good opportunity opportunity for him to look at other clubs absolutely and immediately you know, replace it, these things will happen you know but, but this is a pool i mean in as much as he has his team if anybody gets to move he's watching the games obviously yeah. i mean if he sees a player that you know takes his a chant ego player to the cleaners it would be unfair for him to look away he would look at the player and possibly invite him to the team i mean it's an opportunity for him to do some scouting and what better way to do it than to have the best teams in the land converge and uh, playing the best brand of football amongst us. Really in Aqua United, where you know, most of these players, about five players in Aqua, and uh, their style of football and the way they've been built up over the months, you know, uh, Abdul Makaiba and everything. So it's just an opportunity for him to scout. It's just, you know, having that opportunity and taking advantage of it, inviting two, three players irrespective of their clubs and not to try out. This is not the final list for the Chan tournament. Yeah. And I would just hope you would But take the provisional list has been submitted. Yeah. Uh, we need to understand if players can be added, can be added after actually when uh, they move. Let's just uh, read some more tweets before we go on a break. Akin Louis Kende uh, says, uh, we don't know who can stop Manchester City. We thought Man United can do it, but unfortunately, uh, they can't. Instead, they are fighting. So the, I, I don't. I, right now, there is no team hmm. in England that can stop them. But there was, there was a and season Arsenal was leading with about eleven points, yeah. and and something that the is, is going about it. It, yeah. it creates a very very hopeless situation. You think for they can teams. go and beat him? Uh, well, um, you can't. You can't. At some point, they, 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 they have it in them to do it. I mean, the way they are playing now, they are hmm. playing. Incredible football. But it's just match the 17. Match the 17, and the way they are going to 30. The teams that they are taking to the cleaners, jungle, Austin. Go, jungle go match uh, well, No, no, no. <laughs> Austin, the, the thing is, at some point, you know, that's what other the support casts, you know, the, 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 the other teams have been hoping that at some point they should. Because it follows, you know, diminishing return, they will mm. somehow slip. That's what they've been when very you get hopeful to the about. But, but, but the way they are going, and, and this is Jan the January will be next month, and I won't, this city mm. team. With their attitude, I won't, I won't be surprised if they yeah. sign two, three players to beef up hmm. because they really want to win this league, first of all, and make a statement in the continent. We'll and watch, then they we'll have we'll what watch, it takes we'll to do that. We're watching sports tonight on Channel Television. We're taking a look at what's going down in our world of sports. I've just gone by updates from the English Premier League and, of course, what went down in the MPFL invitation. And let's go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll read more tweets and, of course, find out what's going on in the EPL. Don't go anywhere. Stay.